The drama playing inside and outside the courthouse in two separate cases involving the former president. Fox 5's Linda Schmidt outside of Trump Tower tonight. Linda, the former president, certainly with a lot to say today. Well, he's happy about one thing that happened today. He got a major legal victory, and that surrounds the hush money case. Now, if you remember, he was convicted back in May of 34 felony counts and related to hush money payments that he made to porn um, actress Stormy Daniels. Well, he was supposed to be sentenced for that uh, on September 18th. Today, the judge in that case postponed the sentencing until after the presidential election. It is now going to be November 26th. Now, this is a very big win for Donald Donald Trump and his legal team. Right now, Trump is in North Carolina at an event. He just addressed what happened with that judge's decision. Here's what he had to say. Let's go ahead and take a listen. The Manhattan DA witch hunt against uh, me has been postponed because everyone realizes that there was no case because I did nothing wrong. It's a witch hunt. It's a, an attack by my political opponents in Washington, D.C. So once again, that sentencing was supposed to take place on September 18th. Now it has been pushed back. It is going to happen after the presidential election on November 26th. Now, in the meantime, Donald Trump was here in the city earlier today. He was in a federal court in lower Manhattan trying to get a judge, a three-panel judge, actually, to overturn a verdict against him in a separate case. This is a disgraceful case. Donald Trump at Trump Tower after appearing in federal court in Lower Manhattan. His attorneys arguing before a three-judge panel to overturn the jury verdict against him in a 2023 civil case involving former writer E. Jean Carroll. The jury found Trump liable for sexually abusing Carroll in a dressing room in Bergdorf Goodman in the mid-1990s and awarded her $5 million. Trump has always vehemently denied the accusation, saying she made it up to sell a new book. It's an appeal of uh, a ridiculous verdict of a woman I have never met. I don't know. I have no idea who she is. She wrote a book and she made a ridiculous story up. She put it in her book. Trump's attorneys are arguing the judge in the case improperly allowed evidence that he should not have, including testimony about two other women and the infamous Access Hollywood tape from 2005, where Trump is bragging about being able to grab women by their genitals without their permission. Her attorneys introduced evidence that should have never seen the inside of a courtroom. In our view, that polluted the jury's deliberations in this case. The three-judge panel is not expected to rule on Trump's request until after the election. And all of this legal activity going on just four days before Trump is scheduled to debate Kamala Harris. That's next Tuesday, September 10th. Back to you. All right, Linda, and certainly the judge in his decision seemed very aware of allegations of election interference in that decision to postpone sentencing. That's right. Well, before issuing that ruling today and in issuing that ruling today in the paperwork, uh, Judge Juan Rashan said that he wanted to eliminate any possible perception that sentencing Donald Trump before the presidential election was intentional to affect the outcome of that election. So he didn't want any part of that. So he said instead of uh, September 18th, we're going to do it. We're going to push it back to November 26th after the election. All right. Linda, thank you so much.